And the, it, this is not a natural woman because the book of Revelation doesn't deal with a natural woman. It deals with a spiritual woman, which is the spiritual church that happens to be adulterous. How can you be spiritually adulterous as a church? The same as in the natural. Have relationship with other than your husband. The church can have relationship with carnal ideas, carnal programs, carnal organizations, carnal structures, carnal doctrines, carnal programs that they flirt with, they have relationship with, they digest that material, they honor headship other than Christ, they honor men other than Christ, they are committing, according to the scriptures, spiritual adultery. They are committing fornication, spiritually, not naturally, but spiritually, if their head is not Christ. But here in the scriptures, this shows that God judges that, that uh, movement, that system, which did corrupt the earth, verse 2, amen, with her fornication, and hath, God has, avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. You mean religion has killed God's people? Have you ever read the book called Fox's Book of Martyrs? It's laborious reading. You'll have to be, take time, read it. Go to the library and get it. You'll shudder at women, living women of the church, living men of the church, who were taken by a religious system and stretched over racks in Europe until their bones snapped apart. Women carrying children, they were ripped open and the fetus was taken from them. Fingernails were yanked with pliers out of the hand. The neck was severed little by little yes. until completely severed. Horrible atrocities. Not by an invading army of heathens, but in a religious name. Yes. Carrying the cross. This is the blood of the saints. It was the blood of the saints when they crucified Peter upside down. It was the blood of the saints when they stoned Stephen to death. Yes. And became the first martyr. This woman is judged because she's drunken with the blood of the servants of God at her hand. A system. A spiritually adulterous system. That's why God gave you the revelation not to be in it. Amen. That's why God called you out of it. And before the coming of Jesus, Revelation 18 and 4 is going to be fulfilled when the church gets ready with Christ as their head and they're not dwelling in the past. They're not preaching the past. They're preaching Christ of today. And they're letting the Holy Ghost lead the church. Thousands of people are going to hear men rise up in the spirit. You may be one of them. And say, come out of her. Revelations 18 and 4. Come out of her. Feminine woman. My people, for her sins has reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Thousands are going to come seeking God, seeking freedom, seeking the, uh, the Spirit of the Lord, seeking the Holy Spirit. Thousands. The great latter rain is going to fall. People are going to come from everywhere. They're going to cross the sea from Denmark, Scotland, Wales, like they did uh, in the beginning of this century when the Holy Ghost fell at Azusa Street. They came from Ireland, they came from Wales, they came from England, they came from Ireland, they came from Denmark, Sweden, uh, the, the countries across in Europe by the thousands. That's why they had revival at Azusa Street, uh, 312 Azusa Street uh, in uh, Los Angeles, California. And they had revival there until for three and a half years, they never, never closed the doors of that livery stable in Los Angeles. Day and night, people were praying through to the Holy Ghost, getting miracles from God, 
healings were taking place. That was the east wind blowing. Yes. Praise the name of the same wind that blew in the day of Pentecost. Yes. It's going to blow again. Yes. It's coming again yes. in what's called the latter rain. The rain of the fall. The rain of the ingathering of the last of the yes. harvest. Yes. Praise God. So let's just a verse or two more. I'll be through with this right here. And and God hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. Verse 3. And again they said, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts, that is, uh, four dispensations, fell down and worshiped God. And sat on the throne saying, Amen. Hallelujah. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. Verse 6, and I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of many thunderings. And here's heaven. Here's heaven. You want to know what heaven's like? Brother, you think we're a little bit noisy in this building this afternoon? You ready to get your first day in heaven? Where did you get your first evening there? Yes, sir. Yes, There's no sir. night there, so you won't never, you won't have an evening. That's right. You'll live in a constant day when you get to heaven. There is no night in heaven. They don't need the sun there. They don't need candles there. They don't need FPL there. Thank God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. No more monthly power bills. Praise God. No more monthly power bills. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. No wind dixies No Publix. Praise our God. Come on, let's get our minute eyes for a minute on heaven. No more wawas and racetracks and all of that. God. I'll read that verse again. Verse 5 and 6. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent. Everybody say, the Lord God omnipotent. The Lord God omnipotent. Let's tune up for heaven here a minute. Let's say hallelujah to the Lamb. the gospel, 
They're going to start telling the people what to do. I can't help it. I'm just speaking that language every now and then. Praise our God. Somebody's going to tell the people what to do. Somebody's going to tell them to get right. Quit lying. Quit stealing. Quit getting intoxicated. Leave the drugs alone. Uh, keep your marriage. Keep your death paid. Don't tell anybody an untruth. Be kind. Be gentle. Clean yourself up. Praise our God. On the outside. Inside. Bless the name of the Lord. Somebody's going to tell you uh, what to do to get ready. I'm going to soft soap it. And his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed. I'm going to misquote this deliberately to see if you're listening to me. She was arrayed in any old garment she could find. Oh, no. Didn't matter if it came from T.J. Maxx or wherever it came from. Oh, no. Amen. Amen. She just went out and picked out anything she wanted to put on. She just did any way she wanted to do. She just hung out all night the night before. No, no, no. Everybody say no with me. No. Praise God, no. Hallelujah. I feel that east wind getting ready to blow again. Praise God. Old time, old fashioned. Not yet new. From God. Made up in the back room. Five points, four points, three points. Get rid of those five point stuff. Get the talking from God. Get the Holy Ghost a hold of you. Let the Holy Ghost run through you. Don't be afraid. You men around me with callings in your life. Let the Holy Ghost take hold. Speak through you. Work through you. Move through you. Amen. Hallelujah. To her was granted she'd be arrayed in fine linen. Oh, I can feel that. I love linen. Don't you love linen? You're a man and you love linen. I sure do. Praise God. It's so cool and smooth. So cool and smooth. Don't hand me that wool garment of the flesh. That stuff. <laughs> Aaron the high priest did not wear wool and linen into the Holy of Holies. Only linen. Only linen. Praise God. Clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. For fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Yes, amen. All right. Sister Vivens, you have those children ready for that song over there. Come on, Praise our God. While she's getting the children assembled and ready, I want to tell you what a great, great God we serve, what a great spirit is in the place today to overshadow the word. And I've spoken what God gave me, and I don't feel led to go any further with it. I feel led to stop right there. Because I believe God gave me the words he gave me. And I don't want to press beyond what God gave me. Uh, but um, I do want you to know I love this church. I love all of you. I love the congregation assembly here today. I thank you for your coming, your giving. And... Um, if you're here and you're going to stay between service and you need something to eat, uh, I'm going to ask uh, Brother Sean, would you work with me on this, that one of the ushers stand right here when we dismiss and let us know the count of those that need something between the service. Uh, and we'll get that taken care of uh, since we don't have dinner in our dining room uh, today. But, um, 
I want to thank the Lord for you. And if you're here and you haven't been here in quite a while, how many are here that hasn't been in the assembly for a little while? Lift your hand. Oh, my, I know. I want to welcome you back, y'all. Praise our God. We're so glad to see you. And she told me, she told me, Brother Marlowe, I am coming back home. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And, uh, all of you got the little bulletin today, the handout bulletin. I appreciate you for those who make that up. And you got the little note I know in the flyer from Brother Sean as well uh, that um, uh, we can use the overflow parking across the street. And in days to come, hope to get a golf cart here for the church to transport people that have to park over there, Clement Weather, and uh, across the street. Uh, help you that much because our parking lot has been filling up and uh, some of you got jammed out there and I don't want to see that. We should be able to be free uh, to go the more time come. So we'll be working on that issue of parking and is out today making some adjustments for the show on it. But doing our best to serve you uh, because this church is growing and God is adding to and people are coming by being led by the Spirit of the Lord. Um, I want you all to know that uh, I hope you're being fed, and I hope you're getting the Word of God. And all of you take part. This is your church. It belongs to you. If you have a ministry through the week, and you want to visit the sick, you want to come in, you want to help clean the sanctuary, you want to be here on the grounds, you want to pray in the sanctuary, it's open every day. This sanctuary is open through the day. Uh, you can come and pray if you want to be in a Bible study. Um, uh, you can come and uh, just fellowship. This is this is your church. Doesn't belong to me. Uh, I don't own a bit of it. Um, no, no other individual does. It belongs to you. It's a place of gathering until the coming of Jesus we, uh, would be upon us. So we want to we want to just say those things and we want to be. Loving each other, lifting each other, helping each other. Praise our God. Kind to one another, always making everybody feel at home. Uh, no, no prejudice, no bigotry, uh, no, nothing but feeling God in your heart to one another. Praise God. It all looks so good out there today, every one of you. It's a beautiful day, and the Lord has made a beautiful day, and I'm excited, and I can preach for another uh, 10 or 12 hours uh, uh, by the grace of God. Uh, he'd have to anoint you to sit out there for another 10 or 12 hours. Uh, he'd have to anoint me to preach another 10 or 12 hours. But I, I, I feel the goodness of God. I'm so happy to see Sister Patricia Ware. Her husband just went to be with the Lord. I'm so glad to see Patricia here on the job. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Well, got your song ready now? All right, let's sing. Oh, by the way, my brother Abimelech, where are you? My brother Abimelech's having um, surgery in the morning, right? Is it in the morning? Or the 24th? Wednesday. Wednesday morning. Pray for Brother Carlson. He's having a procedure in the morning, and we want God to be with him in that early in the morning. Brother Abimelech's having it Wednesday morning. 24. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, thank you, Sister Marla. I'm, I'm heading that way. Pleasure. Thank you for helping me. I could not have made it these years in this church, 56 years, without this woman right here. And all of you said amen. That isn't said facetiously, that's said straight. And 57 years, is it 57 years or 58? It will be 58 years. A long time. A long time. Praise God. Praise God. I'm getting in there.
invite a friend invite. I get on the cell phone, transmit a message, uh, talk to somebody and say, I'll join you at Gospel Tabernacle and get them down here between now and six o'clock. May the Lord bless you for just being here today. Have you loved him more and more and more and more? Let's take our hands and give the Lord a wave offering. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And praise the Lord and praise the Lord. Amen. Would you rise to your feet and look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I really love you. I really love you.